Maybe the most important lesson to learn from this video about planting gladiolia bulbs, which we now know are really corms. Planting gladiolia bulbs, most people plant them too shallow, and that contributes to the gladiolia falling over when it gets into full bloom. So remember, you can plant gladiolia bulbs very deep, six, eight inches easily. And if you're planting in containers, if you are planting in containers, you must plant these bulbs deep or they definitely will fall over. So point number one, plant the bulbs very deep. Point number two is you can always plant gladiolia bulbs closer than you think easily an inch or two inches apart and that will give you a much more opulent display when the when the corms actually bloom when the plants actually bloom so remember the two things first of all you can plant them close together secondly you need to plant them deep now if you're planting them in your garden it doesn't get any simpler than gladiolias. You just dig a trench, and the trench should be easily eight inches deep, and then you line the trench with your gladiolia bulbs every two, maybe since it's in the ground, every three inches apart. And then after you've got all of the trench filled with the gladiolia bulbs, then you just bury the bulbs with the soil you've removed from the trench. Water heavily, but don't let them stand in water. And then in a few weeks, you will begin to see the sprouts. And in about six weeks, you'll begin to see the flowers. So that's planting the gladiolia corms in the ground in your garden. If instead you want to plant the gladiolia bulbs in containers, let's talk a little bit about that. First, the soil that you need to plant, to put into the containers, that soil mix is 60% crummy backyard soil or topsoil. That's the cheapest soil you can purchase from someplace like Home Depot or Lowe's. 60% topsoil and then 20% peat moss and 20% dehydrated cow manure or if you are fortunate enough to have a compost pile or a farm near you which produces cow manure or horse manure or llama manure, then 20% manure, whether it's dehydrated cow manure from Lowe's, fresh manure from your local uh, farm or your own compost pile. Once again, 60% crummy backyard soil or topsoil 20% peat moss, and 20% dehydrated cow manure or, or compost. That's your soil mix. Now, you're going to be surprised, but for those of you who have very little patio space or deck space on which you can plant and have a garden, you can actually have gladiolias in a pot that is this size. Notice the most important thing with this pot, and this is an eight to 10 inch pot, the most important thing is the depth. You have to have depth in the pot in order to grow your gladiolias. So what you're going to do, this is a petite patio gladiolia garden. This is a more routine deck or patio size pot to grow gladiolias in. And this is a 14 inch pot. In this eight to 10 inch pot, we can fit five gladiolia bulbs. So we've put about two inches of soil into this pot, and then we have arranged the corms on top of that soil. In this pot, we have four, eight, we have nine gladiolia corms. We put three inches of soil on the bottom of this container and then we arranged the corms on top of that soil. Now let me show you which end is up when it comes to a gladiolia bulb. 
which we know is a corm. Okay, every single one of these bulbs, you will be able to see which end is up because the stem end from last year will form a single circle in the top of the corm. The other side, if you turn it over, there will be a disc. And it is from that disc that the roots grow. More importantly, it is from this disc that the new corm, which will be the source of the flower next year, that the new corm is formed on top of the old corm. So this is end up with last year's stem. This is end bottom with the roots and the disc from which will grow this year's new corm. Once again, this is up, this is down. So, what you then do is you just cover these bulbs with, in this case, it's going to be about seven inches of soil. And you cover these bulbs with a good eight <coughs> with a good eight inches of soil. <coughs> I'm going to soak this soil, but I'm not going to leave these pots standing in water. And then I'm going to put them in. <coughs> Excuse me. I love soil dust. Then you're going to take these and put them outside on your deck or your patio. If you have a deer problem, deer do occasionally eat gladiolias. So remember to keep them close to the house. And then you shouldn't have much of a problem with the deer. So that's all there is. Like I said, it doesn't get any easier than this to grow gladiolias. So if you'd love to have a house full of beautiful cut flowers come late July or August, even into early September, gladiolias are a great flower to choose. It doesn't get any easier, nor does it get any prettier than gladiolias.